Okay, right now the Premier League have actually commenced and we have seen another beautiful day of the Premier League. It's day two of uh, week one, that's the match between uh, Arsenal versus Wolves. It just came, came to an end. 2-0 in favour of Arsenal. And uh, right now I'm here with um, Shegu himself. Uh, Shegu, uh, we, you saw the match. You saw the match. What is the promise of this 2024-2025 uh, 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 season with what we have seen so far, with what we saw Man you play, Man you play yesterday and what we saw Arsenal play today? Yeah, beautiful moments, yes. That's what we live uh, for in the EPL. Uh, you know, 2024-2025 season, we've seen beautiful results. Manchester United getting a victory, Liverpool getting a victory. Arsenal also getting victory this afternoon shows mm -hmm. that, yes, the big boys are back into, you know, the tick of action this season. Mm -hmm. But, you know, it's still game week one and mm -hmm. there are so many things on the table to offer from every team in the EPL. Let's mm -hmm. just enjoy football for now. Right, and I know to Arsenal fans, mm -hmm. they'll be thinking of, yes, this is how they can start to win the league. Yes, this mm -hmm. is how they can start to win the league. Yeah. But the season is still big. It's still long to go. The season is still young. No, you know, last season I, I went to an interview and somebody was telling me that Arsenal is initial gara gara. Initial gara gara. Anytime they start, blu, 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 blu. before you know what's happening, Man City, the Man City is their problem, is their headache. You know, but this season, let's see how it goes. But right now, there's one long I want you to give, you know, uh, at the start of a season like this, we normally ask, who do you think is going to leave the Premier League this season? Yeah, I think my money, my money will still be on Manchester City uh, mm. to win the league. Okay, last season you predicted Manchester City. Yeah, they won the league. They, and they won, they won it. Won so this money. is there, you still say Manchester City? <laughs> yeah, my money is still on Manchester City to win the league. That's okay. it, you know. Everybody will think of Manchester City mm. as the biggest team to win the league. So they can still do it. Okay, what, why would we say Manchester City? What has Manchester City done to add to what uh, what they already have on ground? We have, have, not seen, have we seen more signing? We've not seen new no, signing? It's not really about that. I don't think no. you change your, you don't have to change your winning team. Because when you look at them, both mm. the first team and the bench, and they still have the, uh, the best team in England. So mm. I don't really think there's much um, need for them to, you know, change the main mm. playing for them. So I think they're still good to go. And they still have the big man talking about Pep Guardiola. Mm. He's still the manager. So they are, they are, they are really good to go uh, for this season. But are they really good to go for this season? Now we've seen um, um, Arsenal too, uh, you know, new players introduced in today. And uh, I saw um, uh, David Raya, the goalkeeper, to me, it's like the man of the match. Two, the saving grace for Arsenal today. Uh, and he got a permanent stay for Arsenal. And uh, we've seen, um, at the end of it, all, after winning the game, we started, we saw Atatas trying all his men, bringing in uh, players like um, Gabriel Jesus and uh, bringing, uh, you know, but the match was done and dusted already. So does that, does, does that tell that Arsenal have the depth? To maintain to the end of the season. Yeah, they have to score depth, but I don't mm. think the score depth is as deep as that of uh, Manchester City. Mm. So, you know, like I said at the beginning, it's about them taking it one game at a time mm. and getting the goals. Like what we're saying today, mm. that is how you deep, deep, or you deep, deep, uh, to mm. get, or you dig deep. Sorry, to get um, mm. you know, your needed um, three points mm. against with, against dangerous opponents. Mm. What um, Wolf actually played against Arsenal today was the same thing. Aston Villa played against Aston last season and mm. that was one of the reasons why they lost the league. But at times when you can't go into the box, you mm. have to deviate another means, you know, bring out another means for you to get um, the goals. That's what they've done today. Mm. And, um, kudos to them getting that victory. But there's still room for improvement from the Gunners part of it. Yeah. Alright, still room for improvement for the Gunners part of it. That is the part of... Uh, which other part do you think they can improve on? Okay, you said it before. What, what other part do you think they can improve on? Well, it's just about it's just about the goals. They have to get the goals. And defensively, they are very good. They are, they are potent at the back. I think... Mm. Um, the midfield is another place. They mm. need to get a midfield out. Mm. Or, just, or just, okay, let me just say a striker. Mm. They need to get a striker away because that is one thing I always am. Okay, do, if you, are you feeling that um, Kai Havertz is not um, good he's enough? Not to, he's not a striker. We don't striker. know that. All right. Not a striker. So, um, Shebu, thanks for granting us an interview. Have a nice day.